there's no like m maps to any of this. There's no guides, especially in the first hour or four hours or 24 hours. There's n you don't know what to do. Israel came to paradise after the fires hit, um, and we decided to focus on giving psychosocial support services to the communities here. I lived here 18 years. I've built a home here. I've built my career here as a police officer, and just to see everything destroyed in a matter of a day has, you know, has been hugely traumatic. There are literally between 40 and 50,000 people displaced. Yeah, they never got out of bed that morning, and I guess by the time they woke up, they were dead. So they're not not with us anymore. They were good people, too. I kind of miss them. How are people doing? Uh, the answer to that is, you know, typical to a disaster response this far out. Everybody's tired. Everybody's looking for resources and support. Here, most I think they're just cleaning it out. Hi, right. hey, baby. We'll turn it. Israel Aid is a non profit NGO based out of Israel. We started back in 2001, and we now work in about 19 countries worldwide, running different missions after a disaster or crisis takes place. We're so happy to have Israel here helping our young people and our staff members deal with the trauma and the experience. Israel has immediately came in and so far we've had four different youth clinics. We've had a staff session with our directors and a healing circle. We have an all staff training plan for Monday um, so that our staff continue to become better at what we do. So it's very surprising for people to see that people come all the way from Israel, fly out to the U.S. to provide support. And you would think all the support exists here, but it doesn't. Both of us are professionals working with children, being therapists and being also um, specialist of uh, dealing with trauma. Unfortunately, Israel has so many wars, trauma, so we have a lot of experience dealing with traumas. The staff that we are working with, they themselves lost their houses, they lost everything, sometimes even their pets, and they were desperate. We feel deeply that not only they need to be trained how to work with the children, but they need just time for themselves to talk about what they lost. So after a disaster, we always try to take care of the needs of the communities that have been impacted. And so she explained to me what Israel Aid is. And, um, she told me that she was looking to train the trainers. She wanted social workers. I had social workers there. She wanted people that had been in the flames. I had friends that were nurses. Um, and it was just so nice to take that relief off me. Um, also from Israel. It's helpful, it's helpful to know that there's tools out there that there's actually, I think the bigger part of it too is there's helpful to know there's people out there that care and want to help. That's good to meet you too.